We'll move on to actually the tip of the week, which is related to the newsletters uh, and the emails. David has some updates on what this the new newsletter update system includes uh, and some of the benefits of it. So if it's okay with you, David, I'd like to pass over the reins and you can kind of take us through this little uh, uh, tip of the week today. Absolutely. Super excited to share this update with everyone. We've got uh, a lot of updates actually kind of bundled into this, this one single update here with the newsletter and email functionality. So this really helps to create a more all-encompassing and complete all-in-one solution that we shoot for BD being. With this, it really, the goal was to try to reduce all of your reliance on alternate email solutions. These would be dedicated email marketing platforms. The most common, probably MailChimp, SendGrid, maybe Campaign Monitor or Active Campaign. So we really wanted to try to include as many new features as we could that would give you just a lot more information, a lot more flexibility with the built-in tools so that you don't have to rely on these dedicated third-party platforms and solutions quite as much. Yeah, and what we were aiming for, because we've, we've used these internally, a lot of these solutions ourselves, you know, these are dedicated email sending solutions. So what we wanted to do is at least take, you know, 80 to 90% of what they offer users uh, and bring it directly into the Brilliant Directories platform, as David said, so you don't have to rely on these alternate email solutions just making BD like a stronger and better all-in-one, especially related to email marketing, sending newsletters, and more. Yeah, and we will show you a, uh, a demo of the new email system, the newsletter system here, but we figured the best way to kind of explain some of the major and primary benefits of the new version is just through this real simple comparison chart here between the old version and the newly released version of the uh, newsletter and email functionality. So just go and write down this list here, individually create create and edit newsletters uh, and email blasts. So with the old newsletter system, you needed to first create an email template. And then from there, you would be able to send it out right away or make any necessary changes to a template before sending it out. You can still create new email templates and edit existing ones, but now you'll be able to go right into creating a brand new newsletter without being required to first select a template to start from. So that should help make things get going a whole lot faster and easier. Also excluding smart lists. So with the old newsletter system, you could include smart lists to send newsletters to. So you could check off which smart lists would be the recipients of uh, a newsletter that you were sending out. But now you can also choose to exclude smart lists when sending a newsletter. So for example, you can choose to send a newsletter to all of your members, but exclude your inactive members or exclude members in a specific location or exclude members who first joined uh, on a particular date, scenarios like that. So that should give you some more flexibility in terms of uh, your recipient lists and uh, who you're sending newsletters out to. Detailed statistics, this is probably one of the bigger uh, updates here and benefits with the new version of the newsletter and email system. So with the old system, you could see which smart lists you sent a newsletter to, but the only real data you were given was how many emails were sent out in that newsletter blast and how many of those emails uh, bounced. Now you'll see full stats on delivered emails, failed emails, opened emails, the number of clicks on links that were included in the email that was sent out, Overall, just much more uh, transparency, providing you with ideally more information on how you may be able to improve your future newsletters performance. So really looking forward to, uh, to showing off that update there. You'll also be able to create smart lists based on those particular statistics. So you can target specific recipients in your future newsletters. So for example, you can send out a newsletter make a smart list of recipients who opened that email and then send another newsletter to that smart list saying, so you opened the email from yesterday and you can present them with a special offer or make a smart list of recipients who didn't open that initial email and send them an alternate email, employing a different strategy to try to get their attention. Future scheduling, another huge, more so quality of life update here. With the old system, if you wanted to send out a newsletter at say 6 a.m. tomorrow, 
You'd have to wake up tomorrow and manually click the send button at 6 a.m. Now you'll be able to draft your newsletters in advance, select the recipients of those newsletters, and then schedule when you would like those newsletters to be sent out. So much more uh, convenient with that one there. Flexible monthly sending limits. With the old newsletter system, there was a limit of 1,000 emails per batch. So if you wanted to send a newsletter to 1,500 members, it needed to be done in two batches. Now, if you want to send a newsletter to more than 1,000 recipients at a time, you can opt to increase your sending limit based on your list size at far cheaper rates actually than virtually all of the dedicated email marketing platforms. So that's a great benefit there. And then lastly, our team will always be working to provide further improvements and updates. In this case, specifically related to a more detailed reporting and statistics, providing you with uh, additional default newsletter templates to make it easier to quickly send out newsletters and, and draft them as well. Creating new pre-made content blocks specifically for newsletters that you can easily drag and drop into your emails. You know, we've got a lot of uh, pre-made content blocks already. They're really useful when you're building uh, web pages. They're still useful when you're drafting emails and newsletters, but they're not specifically catered to the sp types of content that might be included in newsletters. So we're gonna be working on creating some new pre-made content blocks specifically for newsletters to make it easier and faster to draft those modern, great looking emails uh, and uh, much more uh, updates beyond that as well. So overall, just a, a huge update here with a lot of really amazing new features. Yeah, and with the ongoing systems, as David mentioned, now that this, this new system is released, um, you'll be able to use the old system uh, through May 31st, uh, 2024, or you can just opt to start using uh, the new system. Both will be available. But moving forward after this is released, we're going to create uh, more standard newsletter templates that you can start with, more blocks, as David mentioned, more variables that you can use. So now that this is released, we're going to make kind of designing a newsletter. Uh, that'll be our next frontier that we want, making that a lot uh, easier. And yeah, with that, uh, we've done it in a previous webinar, but we can kind of see uh, the update in action uh, and see some examples of the workflows of how uh, this will work. And we can uh, actually schedule a sample newsletter and see how that is going to work. Okay, great. So we're in the admin area here and we'll go to send newsletter here. And it does just give it a minute here. All right, so we're on the legacy system here. So if you're using the older limit, we were just doing a ton of testing on, on this site here. But if we're here, we can see that there is a new version available. So Ronnie and anyone else, Colette, I know you've sent newsletters in the past. You can continue using the same newsletter system that you've always used through May 31st of this uh, to the end of this month. And it'll be exactly the same. Or you can go ahead and click try it now, the new email uh, sending here and it will bring you to the new email newsletter system and when we're here we can see kind of the difference of just from this page what you're seeing I'll just even open up uh, this previous page here uh, when you come to this page if you're if you're still comfortable with the new the older newsletter system version you can click back to legacy and again that'll work through May 31st 2024 so I'll just open this we could do a side by side here so just a lot better stats here basically what we're seeing here is you can see the delivered rate any failed emails so these are invalid emails bounces things like that I'll show you more on that who opened and who clicked um, so what's really awesome as David was saying is for any of these stats after a send you can go ahead and click on it here and what you're gonna see are the statistics for that email send. And from this, you can create a smart list. So currently we're looking at the people who opened an email. And again, we see here the journey, uh, delivered, open, clicked, soft bounce, delivered, open. So you can actually visually see the journey of this email to that recipient. And if we toggle here, we can also see recipients that were omitted. These are people with either invalid email addresses, people on the unsubscribe list so you can see it here and you can obviously filter for some of these reasons as well same domain it won't send to emails that are part of your same domain excluded smart list so if you've excluded certain smart lists and i'll show you that in a second you see that here so you get a lot more granular reporting here you can even see who reported you as spam once they received your email and they clicked on the spam uh, complaint in their inbox uh, so you can decide not to send to these people in the future you can make a smart list of them 
uh, and so on. But let's go to the newsletter creation aspect of this. So we'll create a new newsletter. And prior to this, all you would do is select a template and that's all you could do with your newsletters. Choose a, a, a email template you worked on before and then choose your recipients and send it. So you could do a lot more now. We'll just call this a webinar test. And what's cool here is you can certainly start with a blank template or if you send monthly newsletters or you have a template saved that you do like, you can also choose that, but it's not going to only just use that template. You can start editing further. We don't really have, we have a ton of tests here, but. I'll just go ahead and choose one of these here. I don't know what's in it exactly. It's just part of a test, but we can go ahead and select a template to start with. But the cool part is now we can actually start editing this. Prior to this, you couldn't do any further editing. You'd have to do it as the email template. Um, so you can go ahead and edit the template as you see fit. What's awesome is you can choose a custom from name. Maybe it's your website name, the admin of the site, uh, the support center, whatever it is, uh, who's sending it and then also the from address. Uh, so it could be info at, your name at, et cetera, et cetera. And what we were talking about the enhancements coming soon is this area here where you're designing your site, we're gonna try to enhance that over time uh, and add, make it a little more user friendly, add more content blocks and, and more. What's also nice is there's a nice preview here. So it'll show you a preview of your email. So while you're working on your email, you can just keep toggling back and forth to the preview tab and it'll dynamically update. Even better, let me show you a cool example here. If you wanted to see your email with a member's name in it. So here we have Fern, his member ID is 21404. So if we do uh, right here, I'll just do something real quick. And again, this is all gonna be a lot easier soon enough, but we'll just kind of do quick and dirty right here. So if we put the first name here, that's the variable for the first name. If we go to preview email, we're not gonna see the first name here because it's a preview. But if you put the member's ID number in here, it should update it with their name here. So you can see the preview from the member's perspective. Right now it's working with the ID. Later you'll be able to type in a name and you'll be able to see the preview as a member would receive it. So that's pretty cool. And I think the most valuable part of this entire update is selecting the recipients and the omitting, excluding certain smart lists. So as David mentioned, let's say we wanna send this email to all our members, but we want to exclude other smart lists that we have uh, people in Florida with Outlook emails, you know, we were just doing tests here, but you know, now it omits these people, even if they were on this list and only a few emailing platforms offer this exclude option. Uh, so I'm kind of just a little bit of pride and happy that we were able to offer this to the Brilliant Directories community because it makes it a lot easier to send more laser focused emails to particular segments. So here you can omit and things like that. Let's actually switch this up. And we'll just add this one here. And if we go to scheduling emails, also what was missing from the previous option was the ability to schedule for later. So now, as David said, if you want to send your email, you know, the next morning at uh, 8 a.m. or whatever time you want, you can certainly do that. You don't have to wake up at that time and click that send button. So this will be available here, or you can do send now, and then you can click to schedule your email. All the while, you can save your draft as you're making changes to your email, and then you can also send test emails to yourself. Uh, you can include up to three recipients in your test emails, and you can also do, you can send the test email as a member would receive it. You can see it here, and then you would receive the email as this member. So pretty cool stuff here with this, pretty straightforward, but a huge ways away from, from where we were with the email newsletter uh, previous one. Let's actually look at the older one here. Uh, you had a simple table here, and when you wanted to do a new newsletter, you'd basically have this grid here. You'd have some of the same options there. Uh, you were also limited to 1,000 recipients per send. Now, if your list size is greater, there are options to opt for larger sending limits uh, so that you can send the email to your entire list in one batch rather than waiting daily and sending you know, a batch of 1,000 at a time. Let's see here. Let's go back to the stats here. And also, if you click on uh, an email that's been sent and click on View Details, It'll kind of give you an overview of that email send, uh, who scheduled it, uh, the send date, and the lists that were included and the lists that were excluded uh, from that send and the total qualifying recipients 
uh, from that send. So you get a little snapshot of uh, that email along with the stats here. Anything else I need to mention at this point, David? The filterings here, you can search by date, uh, the status of an email. So if you wanna see all the emails that were canceled, you can cancel an email in the middle of its sending if you need to. You can also see all your draft emails here, the ones that are pending that haven't been sent yet that you're working on. Uh, and what's really cool is if you've done a newsletter email and you've sent it, I'll just show this one final thing here. If you look at your sent emails, what's nice is with all your emails, you can create a clone. So again, you can, if your newsletters are always the same, just the content is changing for each month or whatever it is, you can create the clone. And then all you need to do is change the content in that newsletter send as you're editing your email, your newsletter draft. So with just a few clicks, you can just rapidly clone your, uh, your previous newsletters that you've sent and send a brand new newsletter. Anything else we need to mention there? I know it's pretty straightforward there, David, but uh, lots of exciting stuff. Yeah, I think that covers it. Looks like a lot of people in the chat are uh, excited for this big update here. Really looking forward to the future updates as well when it comes to uh, further statistics and, and drafting newsletters. Likewise, likewise. And again, this is the first iteration. I'm sure things are going to come up. One thing I'm going to mention is there is a button here. It says beta newsletter update. If you do experience an issue, our team is online and we are, uh, we, we'd love to be alerted. There is a report and issue button here. You know, it'll be here for the next few weeks until we can roll into June. So if you do experience any issues, uh, please notify our team. We'll rectify them for you guys as quickly as possible.